Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So the question is, why does Islam treat women in such a discriminatory fashion? Why are the rules so different for men and women? Well, the response to this is actually quite simple. Islam does not discriminate against men and women from a spiritual perspective. In the eyes of God, men and women are equal in their religious value, in their worth, in their capacity to enter paradise. If a man does a good deed, if a woman does a good deed, uh, the fact that one is a male and the other is a female is not going to inherently reward uh, the former over the latter. In fact, uh, God very clearly says in the Quran that believing men and women and, and men who give charity and women who give charity and men who fast and women who fast and men who are righteous and women who are righteous, God has promised for them, for the both of them, uh, righteousness and rewards and, and the garden of heaven. And the Quran is very clear uh, that men and women both shall be rewarded for the good that they do and the fact that there's one gender over the other the fact that the two genders are different does not in any way impair their capacity to earn God's pleasure and to enter paradise and that is the ultimate equality equality in the eyes of God now for the laws of this world there is no question that Islam has different sets of laws for men and women but and rather than viewing them as discriminatory, uh, we as Muslims believe that these laws are more conducive to each gender. I mean, after all, men are uh, capable of certain things, women are capable of certain things. Men cannot give birth, women give birth. Uh, women are more nurturing. Uh, there are different talents, there are different capacities. Men are physically, physiologically, biologically different uh, than women. And so God has created the two of us and He knows uh, that which is conducive to our environment. He knows that which is conducive to our gender and therefore he has made laws that pertain to these genders. From the perspective of Islam, it's simply not logical, it's not rational, it's not reasonable to compare the roles of men and women in society because men and women are not the same. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَيْسَ ذَكَرُكَ unsa That the male is not like the female, the female is not like the male. They are different from many different perspectives and you cannot compare two different things. I mean, the examples that are given is apples and oranges, a common expression in English, but it's so true. Apples and oranges, I mean, they're, they're very different. You're not going to compare these two fruits and say, oh, an apple is better or an orange is better. There is no comparison. You can compare two apples, you can compare two oranges. You cannot compare an apple and an orange because they're coming from two different genuses. Well, similarly, men and women are two different genders and they have different roles in life. And taking this into account, our religion has structured a way of life that takes the natural capacities, the natural talents that God has given each of these genders and strengthens those talents and fortifies uh, uh, th that which is weak in each of the two genders. God has given laws that protect those weaknesses. And therefore, from the Muslim perspective, men and women are not discriminated against. Rather, they are equal in the eyes of God and the Islamic law treats them the way that they deserve to be treated. And this is something that every single believing man and woman or practicing Muslim male and female will tell you this is something that nobody feels discriminated against as a practicing and believing Muslim because they believe it's not a woman who's telling me to do this, not a man who's telling me to do this, it is God who's telling me to live my life the way that I want to and the way that He wishes me to do so and when I live my life in that way I find comfort, I find peace, I find the pleasure of God and that is the ultimate happiness of Islam.